Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dan from eSports Healthcare here to talk about the causes of cubital tunnel syndrome. Now cubital tunnel syndrome occurs when there's compression of the ulnar nerve as it passes through the cubital tunnel on the back side of the elbow. This can happen under a few different conditions. The first is inflammation. Now any injuries or trauma to the area will result in inflammation, which will narrow that cubital tunnel space and increase the pressure on the ulnar nerve. We will also see this with movement imbalances as repetitive motion of the forearm flexor muscles can lead to muscle tightness and again compress that cubital tunnel. We will commonly see this with a condition known as golfer's elbow or medial epicondylosis. Another factor leading to cubital tunnel syndrome is increased tension on the ulnar nerve. When the elbow is held in a flexed position for a long period of time, the ulnar nerve becomes taut, which will cause symptoms into the forearm and down the hand. Direct compression of the cubital tunnel itself can lead to cubital tunnel syndrome. By resting your elbows on your thighs or improperly on your armrest, this may place enough pressure on the inside of your elbow to irritate that ulnar nerve. And although this is not a true case of cubital tunnel syndrome, striking the backside of your elbow can cause temporary symptoms of ulnar nerve irritation. This is why the backside of your elbow is known as the funny bone. So to summarize, cubital tunnel syndrome can be caused by inflammation, movement imbalances, tension on the ulnar nerve, and compression of the cubital tunnel. For more information on cubital tunnel or cubital tunnel syndrome, check out our website at esportshealthcare.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at esports underscore health. Thank you for watching and see you next time.